Yo, what's up? It's Ice Grenade here. I'm going to show you how to add in jump pads easily into your map. So let's do this. The first thing you want to do is download that zip folder. And I'd like to just credit Redspace200 for giving us these awesome scripts and for doing all the hard work. Once you've got the zip file on your computer, if you extract it, then just open the folder and put it on the left side of your screen. Also, get your root up on the right hand side. And then what we're going to do, copy the map source, share and sound assets and drag it into here. I've already done it, so it's going to ask me to replace files, but it shouldn't ask you to replace anything because it's not overwriting. The next thing you're going to do is open up the user maps and go to your user maps in your root folder and then go to the map that you want it in. So I'll do it in the hill testing map and then drag scripts into scripts. And because I've already done it, it's once again, it's saying to replace. However, you won't get that message. Then go back and open up the setup file. What you wanna do here is copy from line eight to line 11, so copy. And then go back to your root and go to where it says zone source. And then open up the zone file and I've just pasted it here at the end and save. And then you can close that file, go back to that setup file, copy these sound aliases, then go to your root. You wanna to go to share, raw, sound, aliases, user aliases, CSV, and then just paste it right at the end. Don't paste it anywhere, you know, don't touch any of the last commas. After the last comma, do a new line and paste it there. Then save and close. So the next thing to do is then grab this part here and copy that. Then go to your root folder, go to user maps, go to the map that you're working with. Then go to scripts, ZM, and go to your map name.gsc. Once you're here, you wanna scroll down until you find the last one that says using so and so and then paste it underneath once you've pasted it in there you just want to save that file now we can go to radiant and go to the prefab browser you can right click at the top go down to prefab browser this will bring up this window and you want to hit reload so that it brings in the changes then go to zm red space and where it says zm jump pad drag that into the camera view you want to bring it up so that this gray piece is in line with your floor so i'm going to use one on the number key to change the grid size and put it there and i'm also going to look from above change the grid size to four and rotate so that it's going a different direction move it back to there then I'm going to do right click on the prefab and go to stamp prefab. That will split it up because I don't need that floor anymore. So I can delete that. You can make a cool patch for the jump pad, but I'll leave it for now because there's an effect we can see. Then take the struct that's far away from the trigger. What you can do is go to where you want it. So I want it all the way up here, back in the start zone. Hold control alt and use the middle mouse button and that relocates it. As you can see in the grid view, it's disappeared now. But if we press F4, you can see that it's been moved to where we clicked in the camera. So once you've done that, you can save your map, compile and check it out. So I'll see you in the game. Okay, welcome back and the game has started. I'm just gonna go to where the jump pads are. Go over here and we have a jump pad. Well, it works, but we might wanna add some models in and make it look fancy. But if we go in, see that we've done it. There we go. We have a working jump pad and I'm just gonna do no clip so you can check it out again and go in it. It sends you up and just like the real one, you can move around and it's got some cool sound effects and it seems to work pretty well. So yeah, thanks again for watching and I hope this has helped you out and please make sure you credit red space in your map when you do end up using the jump pad. Take care, that's it for now. See ya.